Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to discuss an issue that has been plaguing Simu and Breath of the Wild players for quite a long time now. This exact issue seems to rear its head the longer you play your games for. And to be honest, I have mostly seen it happen in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild purely because Breath of the Wild is the game that I have 100% played the most on CMU emulator. So this issue usually only rears its head after about 3 or 4 hours of gameplay and previous to finding this issue I'm about to show you, I haven't actually found a way to film it and show you exactly how it affects your game. Now a lot of people have issues in Breath of the Wild when using the Cameroon and moving around like this. Now while this does actually induce the problem we are seeing, it does still take about 20 or 30 minutes of using your Cameroon like this in a normal circumstance to get this issue to show up. But look what happens when I start doing different poses, watch my VRAM utilization on my GPU and watch its direct correlation to my in-game FPS. As you can see, as my VRAM rises and as I get more VRAM utilization, my frame rate is absolutely starting to tank. We started out well above 60 FPS and already, as you can see, we are dropping into the low to mid 30s. Now, I know what you're going to say that nobody is going to be using their Cameroon in this fashion. And to be honest, you are completely right. However, it is not just the Cameroon that makes this happen. This exact same thing is going to happen regardless of what you do. Once you have played the game for an extended period of time, you are going to get this VRAM leak and your frame rate is going to start tanking just like you can see mine doing right now. Now, this wouldn't realistically be an issue, except my GPU has 6GB of VRAM. I don't exactly understand why I'm getting this poor performance, especially since I'm not even using one quarter of my available VRAM pool. Initially, I actually thought that it was something to do with actual dedicated system RAM or something to do with my page file, but when I removed my page file and when I tried everything else pretty much, it wasn't being affected. It was only when I started to monitor my VRAM that I discovered that once the VRAM goes over about 1500, our performance absolutely gets destroyed, well down into under 20 FPS. Now, even though I am using FPS++ and the frame rate unlocking graphics pack that I have shown to you guys in the past, it doesn't matter, even if I use absolutely no enhancements, no graphics packs, nothing, it will still have this issue. We will still get massive performance drops when playing the game for an extended period of time. So when I actually asked Exap, one of the developers of CMU itself, he said he is aware of it, but there pretty much wasn't any response other than the fact that he is aware of it and knows that there is a VRAM leak. Now there are other RAM leaks and VRAM leaks in Breath of the Wild on CMU, especially in and around the Gerudo Desert area and Goran City. So I'm just going to come out of my camera room now and we are going to see that my performance is still absolutely terrible, being stuck down around 20 FPS. The only way that you can actually fix this and get your frame rate back to a playable level is to actually completely restart CMU, completely reload your shader cache and load straight back into game. Let's just do that now, I'm going to save my game and we'll come back when I'm actually loaded back into this same area. Okay, so we're loaded back into game and as you can clearly see my frame rate has been restored to exactly where it should be in and around 70 FPS in this area. So let's just try to take out our weapon over and over again and see if our VRAM utilization is going to climb. As you can see it does indeed climb, however when we're not using the Cameroon it just seems to drop down to a normal usable level and doesn't seem to affect our performance too much once the utilization drops off. Now this is definitely something I'm going to be keeping my eye on in future CMU releases and I really really hope they actually can fix this issue. Now I do not at the minute have any AMD cards so I really would like to get some opinions from some AMD GPU users out there. I would really like to see if you guys could do exactly what I did with the Cameroon and see if your performance drops off in the exact same fashion that mine did. If you guys could let me know down in the comments exactly what your experience is with this issue I would highly appreciate it. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.